Greetings and welcome to Business Solutions After 2020 Pandemic. I am your hostess, Darina Shine. I'm grateful that you're here with me on this podcast. Today is July the 11th, 2021, and I am here to provide content on inspiring others to move beyond where they are. Um, A lot of us have gotten stagnated from the pandemic, but now it's time for us to elevate ourselves and move forward. I'm also a business developer that helps inspire other business um, entrepreneurs at their level to achieve and do more, be more, to have more. So welcome. So today's uh, question, is how to keep business relationships positive in the workplace without creating intimacy? That's a very strong question. It's powerful because a lot of people realize that as human beings, we're going to be intimate with each other. We're going to have conversations, relationships, um, in you know um, social relationships. We're going to have you know emotional conversations. So. It's a good thing to involve people in relationships. And so we build positive uh, energy within our coworkers and, you know, entrepreneurs or contractors and different people who we meet socially. So it's important to allow our members, volunteers and whoever you your client base is to feel good about working with you. It's a great opportunity. So I'm going to provide a few tools that I use in order to keep certain things in organized position so they won't come back to haunt us later. Number one, trust your workers. If we begin to have an open communication with a person who is continually working with us and always a part of what we're doing, we want to empower them to stay committed to communicating with us openly. So we may hear that we are um, attracted to, or we may become attracted to someone who may be a coworker. So how do we handle that? We want to appreciate the kind words, but keep boundaries because in professionalism, we will become emotional at times and it can cause issues later in the workplace. Um, Number two, respecting boundaries, thanking and giving honor, and again, appreciating the nice words, but building a genuine mutual relationship, not something that can come back again to haunt us at an inopportune moment. And uh, we got to remember, people also come emotionally with jealousy and envy. So to put that on them is a distraction per se. And it's up to us, especially as, you know, a business developer, I'm dealing with different types of entrepreneurs, different types of client base, volunteers, staff members, you know, and as people come to us, they come to us with the, with their heart, you know, they may not get the, the treatment that we give. So we have to be very, very open with that appreciation and the kindness. And then it motivates them to awaken themselves and realize that the confidence that they're building is coming from within them, bringing the godlike nature out of the individual and causing them to feel really, really good about who they are and the responsibilities to empower themselves finds attraction. So we as entrepreneurs and uh, People in power should never minimize that power and take control by abusing another person's emotional standing, a a way that they feel about us. We should honor it and we should keep it in its place by setting clear boundaries. And uh, we understand that the attraction is going to bring about um, loyalty if the boundaries are clear. Um, It's going to preserve the relationship. And, you know, the only workplace relationship that comes to mind for me is waiting to exhale. When Robin was getting ready, she was in a board meeting and this guy was so into her and he he had everything that that she wanted, that she wanted for her future. 
he acknowledged all of this, but he took control of his power in a negative way because that was his staff member. He was not supposed to become intimate with the staff member. And when he did, the disrespect that he showed this woman, it just depleted her self-confidence when in actuality, he should have been in a position to build her up. So we got to be really, really careful with the way that we empower others to continue to allow them to hold on to their power. So I thank you so, so much for listening. If any of this made sense to you, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel where we provide these podcasts every Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And please like our Facebook page at Scales to Success LLC and also come and visit our YouTube channel here on YouTube every Sunday. Thank you so much. You've been listening to the podcast of how to keep business relationships positive in the workplace without intimacy. And I give you a universal up to your success and we'll see you next Sunday.